What's up guys, I'm Drew Lahoff and today I'm gonna go over the first part of putting together your Maslow CNC. So today I'm gonna go over the electronics and the software part of the Maslow CNC. And in another video I'm gonna go over how you build your frame. So let's get to it. Um, so for today all you're gonna need is your Arduino, your Arduino motor shield, your motors, your motor cables, the cable that connects your Arduino to the computer, your heat shield sinks, and the power cable. All right, simple as that, that's all we're gonna need to get started, um, so let's get to it. So for the first step, let's open up your motor controller shield. You're gonna take the heat shield, try and take off the tape here. So you're gonna attach the heat sinks to this component and this component right here. So right on top, like this. Like that. Don't worry about them sitting perfectly on the board. Uh, that's not really going to matter. The contact is all that's needed to get the heat uh, transferred to these so that your board won't burn out. So now we're going to take the shield and we're going to attach it on top of your actual Arduino. Uh, if you're not familiar with what an Arduino is, you can think of it just as an interface between your computer and the CNC machine. It's going to take the language from your computer um, and you know, if you're going to use Fusion 360, whatever the code is that's providing G code um, to control your CNC machine, this will take that, translate it so that your machine, your CNC machine, will actually understand what to do. The way you're going to know how to connect this properly, you're going to see these vertical pins along here. The two corners that have the four pins on each corner, there's one four pin here and one four pin here. They're gonna have to connect to this black edge connector across here, have this guy facing up with the four pins coming in this way. And you wanna connect the board on top of it. Just like that. Make sure you push it in. Should fit extremely snug. And now you'll see on this one edge, you'll know you've connected the right way is you'll have this USB cable connector right here, a power connection here, and a power connection up top. Okay, um, so now we're gonna connect the motors. Again, um, this Arduino shield is gonna be your interface between the computer and your CNC machine, so it's actually gonna be connected to your motors so it can control um, the direction it moves your router. So let's open this guy up. And you're not gonna have a left or right motor, they're gonna be the same motors. You're gonna take your data cables here. Same thing with the cables, there's no left or right cable. You're gonna see on the motor on this black end, uh, that's where you're gonna plug in one end of the cable. And then when you look at your Arduino shield up here, you're gonna see three labels. MP1, MP2, and MP3. We're using MP1 and MP3 on the actual board. When we get to connect the entire Maslow, MP3 will be connecting the left motor and MP1 will be connecting the right, so. All right, and you're gonna notice um, two clips on the top of these cables so that they're only gonna be able to plug in in one direction. So I'm just gonna connect one to the MP1. Okay, one of them snaps in like that. I'm gonna connect to MP3 on the board. Okay, something you want to keep in mind when you're routing this cable to the motor, try to keep it as straight so it doesn't get tangled up. And then, same thing with the motor, right, into that black piece, but it's only going to be able to connect one way because of the clips. Okay, now that the motors are connected, all we're going to do now is hook up the power again to that top board, so to the, not this one, this one up top. The good thing is um, they mentioned that if you do plug it into the bottom one, it's not gonna damage the board, it just won't power the motor. So not a big deal, um, something you can kind of realize later and fix without doing any damage, that, that's always good. After you plug in the power, just plug in the USB connector to the bottom one. And we're gonna plug this into the computer. And now we're gonna go into the software portion. Um, we'll take it to the computer. Check it out. 
the first thing we're going to do is just go to the Maslow CNC website. It's going to be the quickest way for us to access all the links that we need. So going to step two, programming the Arduino, we can actually get access to their website where we can download their IDE. I'm clicking for the Mac OS X, uh, click for the computer that you're using, and then just confirm that the software opens up correctly and everything was downloaded fine. After that, we can move to the next step, which is going to be downloading the firmware for the Maslow. You're going to want to do this frequently because there will be new updates constantly to fix all the bugs that they're going to find with this firmware. So just click the latest version that they have, open up the CNC control folder and then the CNC control version 1 file and that should open up your Arduino IDE with that file in it. Then go to Tools, Board, and choose the Arduino Mega or Mega 2560. That is the board that we're using. And then move into choosing Tools, Port, and choose the port that your Arduino is connected to to make sure that software can communicate with your board. From there, all you have to do is click that red arrow at the top. That's gonna download this firmware to your board, and then we can move on to the next step. From here, it's time to download the ground control for controlling the actual Maslow CNC. Again, choose the file that is correct for your computer. After that, opening up the file and the program, this is what the control system actually looks like for the Maslow. And we're going to go into the software with greater detail in other videos, so we'll leave this alone for now. So from there we also need to download a computer aided design software. This actually lets you create the models and then create the toolpath for the CNC to take and use. I'm going to be using Autodesk Fusion 360, but I'm going to leave this up to you. This one's really based off preference, so I'll let you guys figure out what the, the CAD software you guys want to use is going to be. Alright guys, that's it for the software and for the electronics for the Maslow CNC. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and like below. If you want to see more videos like this, I will be making videos on building the frame for the Maslow and I'll be making uh, several products built by the Maslow in my future videos. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to see those. If you want to see any specific products being built or if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment below. I try to get back to every single one of you guys. Thanks again for watching.